Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday expert interview. Let's get started. One of the biggest <coughs> challenges, and we've all had this with pH probes in general, is calibration and the possible drift of that calibration over time. How often do you recommend people should calibrate uh, the probes? Okay. If if you have patience the first time, it means you have to do it less frequently subsequently. Most people rush the initial calibration. The instruments facilitate it because they have a logic in them that says if it's stable within a few hundreds for this amount of time, it's okay. And in fact, that's not true. So we usually tell people, put it in the buffer, go fresh in your coffee, let it set for a few minutes, okay? Because that last 2% can really make a difference. Let the probe truly stabilize. Is there a quick <clears throat> way of saying the, this, this particular probe has, is nearing its natural life? The, the probes, they have a characteristic called impedance. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the resistance of the bulb. Every steam cycle you go through, the, the electrode ages, and that impedance increases. As it goes up, the response time increases, and it takes longer and longer. So. Uh, you can write a good SOP. It says it should go from this buffer to this buffer, and you should have the response within X seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.